Hello, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Thanks for joining us. As always, as promised, we have brought on one of our key back office contributors, uh, the brains of the operation, proverbially speaking, who helps me to make this channel run, who makes it run smoothly and seamlessly, helps with the editing, helps with the sales and marketing, helps with the operations. Because again, as we know, bills don't pay themselves with Skittles yet. So, so somehow this has to be achieved. And some of you have not seen this uh, made of ours in quite a while. So we're bringing them back. This is Chris. And he does handle a lot of the aforementioned items that I just talked about. And so we're going to talk to him about the each individual items of the channel and his focus and contributions within those items. Again, if you are new to the channel, please do like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notifications button so that you don't miss a moment of the action. Chris, thanks for joining us at this late hour. How are you doing today? Good, sir. I'm very well, John. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How's everything with you? Hanging in there, brother. Hanging in there. It's, it's day by day as always, but uh, with the news precipitously moving, as you know, as you are privy to it on our Telegram, which you also help with, uh, it's seemingly never ending. And that's because we believe we're at the end of this process. Um, just before we get started, John, I just want to okay. just publicly thank you for everything you have been doing for this channel. The feedback has been great from all of our viewers and our audience, and you are constantly working around the clock, posting the freshest and the, the best, greatest intel, um, probably the best uh, reliable intel I see on the internet. So uh, thank you for everything you're doing, John. We really do appreciate you. And um, to kind of also, yeah, just the audience as well. We also want to thank the audience without them. Um, yeah, where would our channel be without the audience and the subscribers? So th thank you guys too. We do appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. I would like to second that. I, I thank you for the, especially the, I mean, always the new, the new audience is great, of course, but you can't maintain your channel without a consistent base of loyal followers. And, and so to all of our loyal followers as well, we really, if we haven't already said it, we do sincerely appreciate your faith. You've, you've not wavered, you've shared it, you've commented, you've brought positive energy and even good information yourself and and that is is integral to what and vital to what we do on a daily weekly monthly basis i also want to acknowledge chris thank you for the kind words you said to me but i can't do what i do without chris and i can't do what i do without the audience but i also can't do it without our integral team which you're going to see later today joe williams being one of many these men and women are truly knitted to the work of god and in, in the truest sense they have sacrificed everything, their time, their family, their energy, their own finances. They've stuck their neck out on the line to give us this information that you are enjoying. So it is truly a team effort across the board. And that's one of the purposes of this video today. So I just wanted to uh, give credit where it's due and acknowledge that nobody does this alone. This, this, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And our goal here is and has always remained to have no weak links. And you are all folks are all part of that. So thanks again, Chris. Um, kicking things off with your contributions behind the scenes, let's take it as a, a piece at a time because this is a big elephant. So one of the big pieces that runs our channel is our currency site, which you operate on a, on a support uh, capacity. So I was wondering if you could just briefly articulate um, what your involvement with Chakra Energy is and, and why you have chosen this particular partner for the site. Okay, so I do run the business side of our channel and the finances and our partners. So we partner with several partners, one of them being Chakra Energy. Um, the reason why we use this specific currency website, we have had a few people in the comments recommending other recommendations. Um, mostly of the recommendations that I have seen in the comments are from the US. I would like to remind the audience that a lot of our our viewers are actually globally based and one of the best currency websites we have seen, which does deliver to everybody. Um, their prices might be all over the place. It might be high on some things, lower on some things. You might find it cheaper on the other websites, but the most consistent currency website we have had so far is Chakra Energy. All of our customers always get fulfilled. Their orders always get fulfilled. And um, this is why we use them. They're a partner to us. They have never let us down. They help us support our channel. And uh, without them, our channel, without you, John, as well, but without our partners, we wouldn't be where we are today. So 
that that's I hope that answers your question. It does. I just have two follow-up questions for that, if you don't mind, just because there's a question I get from time to time. So this is a good opportunity to kind of address everything in a transparent manner. Uh, as far as you're able to uh, determine, it, it, as far as you're aware, when those orders are fulfilled, we know that uh, that's legitimate currency. I believe it's uncirculated, so it's fresh. I, I don't. I have not heard from anybody, as I'm aware, that any of the notes have been bad or anything like that. So, from a consistency standpoint, would you stand behind that as well? Yeah. So, I've also been sent notes myself from Chakra Energy. Um, I've checked them with the UV light, just like you you um, tell the viewers to do. Mm -hmm. Check the UV prints and. Yeah, everything's all genuine. I've never received any fads or fake notes from the company. Um, yeah, the, the company has been, it's been perfect. They've been running for, I think it's almost four or five years. Um, other uh, truthers in this community, they also promote them. So this just shows their reputation. They are, they've been out there for many years and one of, they're one of the main ones in this community. So yeah, I, I feel confident. Um, telling our viewers to go check them out. Great, thank you for that. And then the last question on this, just to mop it up is, um, sometimes people, you know, because you're very forward thinking in a lot of ways from a technology standpoint, thankfully, um, would you say that like when you send the receipt electronically, they could just print that out and that would count as a paper receipt, yes? Yes, yeah, so um, they, most, most places you order from these days, they'll give you an order confirmation, which is a receipt paper not many people are issuing paper receipts anymore i don't know where you are in the us but here in the uk everything's via email now you walk into a shop to pay for something and they ask for your email address to send the receipt so it's the same as um same as these online uh, websites they send they send the customers uh, email confirmation uh, one thing actually just on the subject we have had a lot of people email us and comment saying um about certificates of authenticity. Authenticity. And I have, yep, I have spoken to Chakra Energy, and they have mentioned that this certificate of authenticity is a, it's like a myth. It's not a real certificate. And I just want to go back to the point that they've actually said to me. So if they said to me, if I was walking into a bank now to order some U.S. dollars because I want to fly to the U.S. and have a holiday. They don't normally, you, the bank would never give you a certificate with serial numbers confirming each note is genuine. They'll just give you your, your bundle of notes in, a, in an envelope and they'll give it to you with a receipt and saying, here, this is where you've received the notes from. It's the same from most currency exchange places online and note shops. So anyone that has um, said you need a, a, a certificate per note I've never heard this and neither has uh, this company. So I just want to also tell the audience this because there is a few um, myths out there in this community where they say you need serial number um, certificates. And mm -hmm. I'd like to yeah, just say this, it's not needed. No, I appreciate that. I mean, as I've stated before on a show several months ago, many moons ago, um, certificates, uh, certificates are nice, but they're, they're almost like an insurance policy. You don't really need it. It's a nice to have, but it's not a requirement. I, uh, and I'm going to, as you know, Chris, I'm getting ahead of myself for the audience, but when we do our final show, our podcast at the bank to do a mock simulation of a role play exchange with a real banker at Wells Fargo, yeah. I'll ask him that question point blank, just to, you know, drive yeah. the point home. But what I do know the banks, at least here in America, I can't speak to Europe, but I, I would imagine it's not entirely that different over there, that as long as it's legitimate currency, um, if you are going through a reputable place like Chakra and you have a paper trail of some kind with a digital receipt printed out, I don't think they're even going to require the receipt. They might, but they might not. But as long they're going to run back and do what's called a Deliware machine, which is a big machine, which has a black light and it's going to look for the watermarks. And, you know, the one thing I do want to say to people I've said before is if you think that you're going to be able to pass off even one bad note and get away with exchange, ain't going to happen. The mm -hmm. most important thing is that you get, you know, certified quality, legitimate currency that you will have peace of mind. And as far as we're concerned, this is one of those places. So um, I think that kind of supersedes everything else. But I, I do appreciate you taking the time to clarify that. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, John.
You're welcome. Next thing I want to talk to you about is um, the the partnership and affiliation that you have with Gold Co. on the precious metal side. Like you talk a little bit about that, how long you've been with them, what your experiences with them, and why you've stayed with them, you know, so long to this point before I even came onto the channel. We've used them. This this channel was another channel before it was the the John Dowling and Chris channel. Um, it was a uh, Nazara News once upon a time. And then when I met you, I believe it was in 2000 and two, uh, 2022, was mm -hmm. it 2022 when we started speaking? Mm -hmm. And then we came up with this idea that we're going to merge our channels together and make one big platform. So, yeah, we've had a Gold Co. partnership ever since. Um, just like many precious metal companies, um, they offer their rates. I would say to anyone always check the rates whoever you're going with regardless whether it's gold co whether you go to any any other companies check the rates check what they've got to offer check their fees as we know all all um all precious metal dealers they have their commissions they have their fees that they make and uh, yeah they are uh, they are also a um partner of the channel there was some bad press going on about them that someone's released uh, lately a few videos were circulating to say gold co um what they said a few things on a video i just want to make it clear that gold co is is one of the largest um precious metal companies in the usa the trumps advertised gold co um was it i forgot which trump it was was it i think it was um, eric, eric I think it's Eric and Donald eric, Jr. yeah eric eric and yeah the donald not not donald trump himself his his son i right. believe and they promote Gold Co. So for everyone saying that, yeah, Gold Co., there's been issues with them or they've been taken. Look, I've never heard anything bad, not from anyone that's ever come through us and gone to Gold Co. I've never heard any complaints. If anyone else has got any stories online, reach out to us, Carl. I would like to hear. I would like to hear both sides of the story. So, yeah, they have been a partner of our channel yeah, since 2021. Great. Thank you for that. I, I appreciate your fairness and objectivity to, like you said, to hear both sides so we can vet out the truth. Because I think our audience knows that we're, at least I hope they know that we're both working in concert, you and I and the team to get to the truth as best as we can. Are we perfect? No. Are we right 100% of the time? Of course not. I mean, who is? But that's why we do this together as a community to cross the finish line together. These are the kinds of steps and initiatives that it takes to get there. And so, you know, Chris's transparency and openness with you, as I have been, really helps us to give us, give all of you the best, you know, breadth and depth of information and really get as close to the target as possible. So thank you for, you know, working in concert, Chris, to get to that, to that effect, that effort. Uh, and then on the last point, um, talk about a little bit about Club Patriot. What was the impetus to start it? Um, how is the process going with that and anything you can talk about in terms of what we always get a question about is the, the free chat component attached to it. Yeah. Okay. So club Patriot, we're trying to build at the moment, one of the largest platforms for Patriots and like-minded people, same as you, John, same as me. And what we have done, we have incorporated in the back of this, a free chat and the chat is like Discord, where there will be several topics. You can talk about maybe the currencies. You can talk about um, anything, any talking point in this kind of community. Politics, Trump, uh, Camilla done this, Biden done that. So just a platform where we can all come together and we can all share our opinions and you can meet people on this and share share stories or talk about like we just said talk about currencies or talk about precious metals whatever mm -hmm. and what it is we are aiming to get the the biggest platform in the world we have had some funding um it is been a bit slower than it was meant to the chat was meant to be done by now but we are trying to get it perfect and we are trying to do this on a large scale so far we have had a hundred thousand signups since we released uh, a year ago of emails people registering their emails I have said to people before that at the moment there is a, a, a fee on the website where you can get the full package. I believe it's only $69 at the moment. That's a one-off fee, by the way. Um, that will be a, a, a 
promise of a lifetime membership, even when it does turn into one of the largest platforms on the internet for the Patriots, there will be a membership eventually. So I do say to everyone, if you want to be a loyal member and you want to be a lifetime member, get in from now because you'll pay off a one-off fee in $69 and that will be it for life. After that, the price probably go to about $20 to $50 per month. But it's not on this stage yet, John. And just to let everybody know, on the back of this, we have incorporated, you have mentioned before, John, we have incorporated a section of it where it's an academy which teaches mm. people how to make money at home because i don't know about the us i i do hear that it's getting quite tough over there as well a lot of the jobs are getting taken robots are taking over the, all the jobs and yeah, AI. it's getting hard the prices are going up mortgages are going up rents are going up and it's sad the average person is struggling to live and what we are doing as i just mentioned on the back of this we're going to teach people to sit down Go through several resources on the website, which will teach you how to make an income from home, anything from um, online courses to e-commerce, to opening online stores, to drop shipping. This is the new generation of making money. Last year, the global trade of the online e-commerce, I think it was around 25 trillion. And what they're saying is every year it's going up by 10%. So that's the direction online e-commerce is going. So if anybody would like to have a business from home or whether you're a full-time mother or you can't get out and maybe you're, you're ill and you can't actually leave your house because you have health issues, the best place to pay your bills and make your money from is your screen. So we're going to be teaching people how to do this as well. That's the two sides of club patriot so we have like like we said the chat side of it and there's gonna be the money making side so i don't want people to get confused because we have mentioned this in the past before john no, i appreciate that and one other additional topic or sub point i want to add to club patriot chris that i think was one of the original impetus if i recall for you starting the channel was the changing the educational component of society you know because kids people are looking to homeschool their kids and want to get them out of all this indoctrination and wokeness and mind control that everybody here should be well awake and aware of. Uh, this channel, as I understand it, also offers a component for people to, because uh, President Trump talks a lot about removing the Department of Education and creating a new virtual online academy. And you kind of were doing that that I know of a year, year and a half prior to him even mentioning it. So can you just briefly touch on that component of the channel that might add some value as well? Well, yeah, that, that's that's exactly it, John. You you just said it. So uh, over here in the U UK, for someone to go to school, they're teaching you a, a backdated a system that doesn't exist anymore. They're teaching the average person to to be a worker, prepare to be a worker. These jobs that they're teaching you to be workers for, they're actually getting taken over by AI and everything's going online now. And on top of that as well, most people, they're, they're leaving school they're going into college and university and they're racking up 40, 50, 60,000 pounds worth of debt, four years wasting their life to get these, these degrees. And by the time they've even got this degree, they're 60,000 in debt. They can't even get mortgages anymore because the world has left them behind. There's, there's so many people. I don't know why there's still so many people in university. So all these people who are who are passing and they're all there's like hundreds and thousands of people all running for one major role one ceo of a company or one job and it's just there's more this system is not working so yeah we are trying to teach the new the new system yeah thank you you broke up a little bit with the with the internet lag but i, I think people got the gist and also, you know, President Trump has encouraged people over the years, five years back, that I recall, to, you know, be in the trades business. You know, Greg Manorino just talked about in this podcast yesterday. So, yes, folks, we do watch. We're, we're aware. We're catching it. So, yeah, again, thank you for your efforts to do that, Chris, for, uh, for the community at large, because it really is mutually beneficial for everybody concerned. So um, I think that covers most of your responsibilities, along with, you know, doing the edits and things like that to get the videos out. Is there any other components of the channel you want to talk about? 
Um, no, just we do get a lot of emails, people asking where can I get hold of John or where can we get hold of um, just anyone in general. And it's hard to get hold of. So you see people's videos all the time, but they never know how to actually get hold of us. So if anybody did want to get hold of anyone, whether it was yourself or Nicholas Benny Armin or any other, anyone else, um, just Club Patriot. Go straight to Club Patriot, fill out a contact form. I would like to get hold of John. This is my questions. I have this information to tell this person. And we are the hub. We will direct that message. If it's an important message and we feel like John needs to know this and it's value to John or to Nick, we will push that message. And that's the best way to get hold of us. If it's something where we saw or you saw value to this question, you would personally want to take take charge of this email. So that's the best way to get hold of anyone if you're trying to. Great. Thank you for that. And yeah, I mean, you know, folks, that's true because like you've seen me on different podcasts. If somebody has a really burning dire question, um, and it's not that it's not that they're not all valuable. It's just some of them tend to be the same question over and over again. And if it gets kind of a unique out of the box one that I think one of our guests can actually answer, like we did with Jim Willie on Rumble with one of our uh, subscribers, Andy White, who's been loyal. He had some concerns about the validity and verification of the uh, of Ben Salman, Prince Ben Salman, actually ditching the dollar back in June. And Jim verified that. So we will take these things in front of guests. We will address it. We'll take it seriously. It's not going to get fluffed over or dismissed because we know what it's like to be ignored and overlooked when we've been on the other side of the camera. So thank you again for that, Chris. Um, so with that in mind, I think you have uh, a couple of questions, speaking of which from some of our uh, followers. So I'm happy to address those if you have any. Yeah, just we're going to just go through just a few random questions we've picked out just to um, we like to give back to the audience. We don't like to keep some of you guys hanging. So, um, yeah, just the first question here is um, just a, a simple one, actually. You can answer this, John. Sure. Where can we buy XRP um, from one of our followers? They've asked where where would you recommend buying XRP from? It's funny you asked that, Chris, because we just had uh, today fellow team member, Joe Williams, and we actually addressed that. So I'll, I'll happily address that again. So they can get it in a number of places, but the three that we feel good about is, first of all, one in, in, in Europe, Uphold. Um, they've been one of the originators of XRP uh, to get it for quite a while. And you can either hold it you know, on a, on a uh, platform like a Coinbase, which you can also get it from Coinbase now for, I don't know how, how many months it's been on there, I think three or four months. Or you can move it over to your storage wallet if you have one, like a Razor or Descent, which we've always recommended. Uh, you can move it over to your cold storage wallet app very easily with those apps. Um, recently, within I think the last couple of weeks, I want to say, maybe two weeks, week and a half, uh, Robinhood as a platform is now applicable to get uh, XRP. And what's interesting about that, Chris, is that it's been told to us and our team that once Robinhood started carrying XRP and eventually Shiba, that was going to be sort of a telltale sign of the crypto Super Bowl cycle starting, which officially kicks off, as we've told people, in October. So this is sort of a foray or a purview to that happening. So those are the three um, apps that we feel comfortable telling people to go get it in, in the interim right now. Okay, great. Well, that's, that's that. Yeah. Um, next question that we've seen um, from one of our followers here, actually, they said, how is Rod still? They've said, have you heard of him? Have we heard of him? Is his health okay? Um, I've actually spoken to him in the last um, the last 24 hours, actually, to confirm, and he is still here. He's all good, and he's, uh, his health is fine. So um, I haven't spoken to him as recently as you did, so that's good to hear. But I did talk to him, folks, three weeks ago, so fairly recently, and he was in good spirits. He's been working out on his, I guess, treadmill and stuff like that diligently, keeping abreast of everything as he has always done. Um, he and I are in a very good place. We're fine. We're friends. It isn't a personal thing. Why you have people say, why haven't, has he been on the show? It's not because of anything personal. It's his schedule and my schedule just haven't lined up. Not to mention that, you know, we have been going in a different direction in terms of tr trying to bring on new guests, which prohibits how many people we can bring on per month sometimes. So sometimes we have to make tough logistical decisions. And if we can't find a date, that works. It, it doesn't work. Plus, you got to remember, we just we're coming off the summer hiatus where people are on vacation and he's got vacations and everybody's got stuff going on. 
everybody's bunkered down now. I, I believe I'm not, I'm not mistaken, Chris, he's going to be a regular on the Nick Benny Amon podcast here, and that'll give him you know, but a much better outreach than what he was doing with us in terms of exposure. You can also get him on X, Patriot Rod Steel. Again, Patriot Rod Steel, all one word on X. We're not, we're, he's a guest, he was a guest on our show. It's, we don't govern his business affairs. We don't deal with any of that stuff or communications. That's all him. He's a, he's a one-man band. That's how he likes it. Um, I know there are counterfeits on X, not our issue. We have our own counterfeits to deal with. We don't control that, but as a rule of thumb, X is always a situation whereby if they have a blue check mark next to the name, that typically denotes that it is an accurate account of said person. So you may have to do a little bit of digging. That's the way it goes. But you should be able to reach Rod from those two different uh, platforms and be able to get outreach to him directly. So hopefully that addresses the questions people had there. Or they could find him on Club Patriot. So <laughs> that's another, a good point. Touche. Touche. So there we go. Two birds, one stone. Praise uh, God. Another question, another question, John, actually, uh, I keep getting is about the, the Zims and the agro checks in the Bolivia. People are still asking a lot of <laughs> questions about this. And I feel like there is a lot of confusion with the agro checks and the, the, actual, the, the, other, the other Zims. I don't know if you can help us clear this up, John. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I've seen that a time or two myself. Yes, the agro checks are a legitimate investment. They're tied to the overall agriculture of Zimbabwe. We've talked about all the different attributes that that country has to offer in terms of gold, silver, diamonds. But I've also, if you folks have heard me, I said they have a rich agricultural soil, which is good for farming. So that was sort of a tell, to be clear, about the agro checks. They are a good investment. They will go. Um, I don't know what the rate is going to be on those as much as I believe we know about the Zimbabwe bonds, which again will be tucked into the zig, zig dollars once Nelson Chumis has come back. Speaking with Chris, if you've seen in our telegram over the weekend, they had a helicopter crash with allegedly Edwin Mangawa and his vice president. We're waiting for confirmation on that because that is that may be the narrative they used to bring in Nelson Chumisa, which we've talked about many times before. So anything associated with Zimbabwe from the bonds to the dollars to the agro checks will be a viable investment. Yes. Um, I don't know again what the rate will be as a safe bet. Just consider whatever you've invested, look at a one-to-one -one mirroring at a, as a very conservative baseline. Probably will be more, but again, we like to under-promise and over-deliver. So that takes care of the, uh, uh, the agro checks with respect to Zimbabwe. In terms of the boulevard, yeah, I, I know that a lot of you are going to a lot of different channels and you're hearing the inculcation about the boulevard. As we have said before, yes, the Venezuelan boulevard is an excellent investment. We actually, if you go back to our channel and go to our archives, which just means the previous videos, I think if you go back six, seven months, we did a special expose on Venezuela and why specifically the boulevard was a good investment. We give you about five or six specific articulate bullet points with respect to the boulevard. So it's a great investment. They were the fourth largest economy in the world. Historically, what was always comes back. Um, President Trump said in 2019 and a State of the Union in February that he was waiting for the corrupt governance leadership to be removed, not unlike the US, not unlike the entirety of the world, uh, and that Juan Guaido would be a great replacement who would be a patriot to restore that country, much like uh, Javier Malay with Argentina as a mirroring effect. So. We believe next year, not this year, the boulevard will go in what we're calling the second round instead of the basket guru talk. It will be in the next round. I don't know, obviously, a specific date. I would say between the first and second quarter of next year, look for the boulevard to be in the next wave of iterations of currencies along with the Thai bot, um, the Indonesian rupee, and many, many others within that ridge of Southeast Asia. But the boulevard is an excellent investment. And uh, I think you'll be very well pleased with, with how that comes back as a, and many currencies as a resurgence. So hopefully I answered that question for you, Chris. Yeah, thank you so much, John. And um, okay. yeah, I believe that's everything. I think we should leave it there, John. Um, one thing, so you, you, did, you did just mention these currencies. You can buy these currencies on Chakra Energy. Um, what we will do, we will leave it in the link in the description, the website, and we will also leave... Club Patriot because we have had a lot of comments asking where they I keep seeing viewers John where do we click where is the website where is the website mm -hmm. so I just want to remind everyone in the description on YouTube and Rumble you press the drop down it should say 
uh, more underneath the video and you always see our links there. So that's everything. Well, that does it for this particular podcast, folks. Hopefully you got a lot of good information, a little bit of calm and a little bit of resolution out of this. And I thank you, Chris, for uh, coming on at this late hour to be with us. I know you work late in the evening as well for the family and whatnot. So thanks for taking the time. Hopefully you thank folks you. feel like we addressed some accountability and got everything kind of mopped up from an operational standpoint. And uh, I think strap in folks for the stretch run here. It's going to be uh, an exciting finish to this whole process. And uh, thanks again, Chris. Have, sleep well, and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. I'll see you soon, John. Yeah. Take, take care. care. God bless.